Hello everyone, welcome to an episode of Twinkie Bits Tech Talk. In this episode, we will be covering a topic regarding water cooling, and this topic is, does the order of components matter in a loop? This is something that I have, I have wondered when I first started water cooling, and I hope that this little video can help some, some of the water cooling enthusiasts figure out the configuration for their loops. The short answer to the question of does the order matter is in theory, yes, but in practice, no. The reason that this question came up and that made me want to make a video is when I first posted my photos of my main water cooling rig on Imager, I noticed that in the comments, some people have been questioning about the order of the components. They, they've been saying that the order is not optimal for water cooling. And in theory, they would be correct. I will link a very good article written on, I found on overclock.net and it will have a very in-depth analysis of the thermodynamics laws regarding, um, I believe, heat transfer due to convection. And if you're really interested in that stuff, in the science behind it and the, you know, the thermal dynamics behind it, I would highly recommend you go read that article. It is very interesting. Now, for those of us that don't really want to read through a bunch of, you know, formulas and uh, kind of textbook material, um, I will summarize the article for everyone. Essentially, what it's saying is that the difference in temperature between the inlet of your radiator and the outlet of your radiator, assuming that the radiators are your main component for heat transfer between air and water, the higher the difference, the more heat can be transferred. So what you want to do is that you want to keep your heat producing elements or keep radiators between your heat producing elements so that you know the radiator the water that's cooled by a radiator doesn't go into another radiator is essentially what this article is saying which means that in theory if you really wanted to optimize every last drop of your water cooling capacity you would want to make sure that your radiator goes into the water from your radiator goes straight into another heat producing element and that cooled water from one radiator doesn't go into another radiator. This ensures that the temperature difference between the inlets and the outlets of your radiators stay as high as they can be. Another point that the article makes is that if you have a really high flow rate in your system, it can greatly mitigate the effects of having the temperature difference of the inlet and outlets because a higher flow, flow rate means that you have moved more water through the radiator and you'll have more surface for heat dissipation. What this means in practical term is that if you have a decent pump and your your the flow in your system is decent the order of the components does not will or should not cause a huge difference in your water cooling capacity does this mean that the order of components doesn't matter at all no it does not does it mean that you have to order it a certain way, even though it does not necessarily match you, what you have in mind in terms of aesthetics and your case design? No, you do not have to worry about it that much. It is maybe going to be a degree or two of difference, if at all. I hope that some of you guys have found this video helpful. If you have any other topics that you would like for me to go over or discuss, please leave a comment below. Thank you very much for watching this video, and I will see you in the next one.